Hi, everyone. My name is Heidi Meyer, and I'm a director in the Rock Hunt organization. And I'm coming to you live from the Tupperware Rock Hunt studio right here in Linwood, Washington. And I'm here to share with you some of my favorite products. But really, I'm going to concentrate on our wonderful microwave pressure cooker. I don't know about you, but when I was little, my mom had one of those pressure cookers with a little metal thing that would shoot through the ceiling. We all had to block, um, run out of the kitchen whenever she was cooking with it. Well, we have one here that is totally safe. It works in your microwave and it's fabulous. I use mine at least once a week and considering I only cook dinner about three times a week, this gets used quite a bit in my kitchen. So the first thing I wanna tell you about though is our Quick Chef Pro. I have made some wonderful salsa. Now, I don't know, but I don't like my eyes to water when I am making salsa because of the chopping of the onions, right? So I have put my onion in here, my cilantro in here, my jalapeno pepper and my tomatoes. I have cranked it and I have chopped up and made some beautiful salsa, super fast and easy. I love that I can control the size of my vegetables that are inside, whether I want a really chunky salsa or I want a really, um, like more like a salsa salsa. And then um, we have a great seal that comes with it. So if I don't use all the salsa, I can put my seal on it and I can store it in my fridge and we can just have it for later. So I'm gonna pull these, the blade and the thing and I'm gonna go put it in the fridge or in the sink. I'm not gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put the seal right here on our salsa and set it aside. The next thing I wanna show you is um, we have these great Clearly Elegant Bowls. I've grated some cheese in our Clearly Elegant Bowl to come with a great seal. I love it because when I grate the cheese, I can put it in the fridge and my family can look and see exactly what's there. This is our great master system. It comes with several different blades. It's a whole system. There's a sorbet maker. There's all kinds of different things that go with it, but this is our great master. Um, you put your cheese in, you press down, and you twist the handle to grate, make some beautifully grated cheese that's pure cheese. When you buy that cheese in a bag, you know, it's got additives in it, and we don't want to add any additives to any of the food if we don't have to, especially when we're home cooking meals, we can be in control of what we have. The next thing, which is the core to our recipe, is pork tenderloin. Now, I bought a nice big pork tenderloin, um, and then I just sliced it into pieces, and I sliced it into hunks because I... I'm in a hurry. I want my dinner done in 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes or less. I'm using our great chef knife. Now, you guys, something I love about our knives, and since I use this one, I don't want to stick it back in the sleeve, so I'm going to grab a different knife and show you. But something I love about our knives is that they are in this sleeve. Now, I have a drawer that is like my catch-all drawer for all my kitchen stuff, and when I reach in there and I'm rooting around, I want to make sure I'm not rooting around and I'm going to cut myself on a knife. Or if you have littles, you want to make sure your knives are nice and safe. So these have a great sleeve on them. These knives are very sharp. I have not had to sharpen mine in four years, but if you do need to sharpen them, Tupperware also takes care of that and they have a great knife sharpener for you. So these are our knives. I've used the chef knife um, to chop my pork tenderloin. And then I'm gonna open up my pressure cooker. I'm gonna put my pork tenderloin inside. Now a couple key features about our pressure cooker. One is that it has these little arrows on it. These arrows, when you line them up, Sorry, when you line them up and you twist the seal, this locks the lid into place, okay? But it also has a second lock on it that you push down on this handle and it locks in as well. So now it's double locked and it's perfectly safe, very, very safe for you. In fact, inside there is a rubber seal and I'm gonna show you that rubber seal in a minute. If there was any problems with either the lock or with this, the rubber seal will drop into the um, pot itself and create it so that there is no pressure, the pressure is released. But when we take it out of the microwave, this little yellow thing is gonna be raised. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little yellow thing here. It's gonna be raised. We wanna wait until that goes down because that's gonna tell us that the pressure has all been let free of our pressure cooker and it's safe to open. When it's safe to open, we pop up the handle, we twist the lid and we open it up. And inside you'll see is that rubber seal. It's really easy to take in and out. I run it through my dishwasher to make sure it's super clean. So here's my pressure cooker. I'm just gonna put my, my pork in here. Now this is, like I said, just a regular pork tenderloin. You can get a giant pork tenderloin for like nine bucks at the grocery store. A giant one will feed your whole family. I'm gonna take my salsa and I'm gonna dump my salsa that I just made, my nice fresh salsa, right over the top of it. And then I'm gonna take some chicken stock, just some basic chicken stock from the grocery store. I like chicken stock better than chicken broth, but that's up to you. I'm gonna dump it on in. So I'm gonna make sure that my meat um, that is in the pot is totally covered. Because this is a pressure cooker, we wanna make sure that um, the pressure is um, 
infusing the liquid into our meat because that's what it does. There's a max fill line as well. You guys, you always want to make sure that you keep it within the max fill line. So there's a lot of pressure that's going to build up there. And if we do it too full, it's not um, what this is meant for. So you want to make sure you fill it no fuller than the max fill line. And I would show you that this is covered, but I don't really know how to get down there. So maybe that's, but I've covered the meat totally. I'm now going to put, match up my arrows. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to lock it down. And now it's nice and safe and locked. And I'm going to go put it in my microwave for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. Now, while that's cooking in my microwave for 30 minutes, I might grate my cheese then, um, whatever other ingredients that I need to do. And I'm going to fill my serving center with those ingredients, my sour cream, my guacamole, all those really yummy things. And this is going to be like my taco bar tonight, right? With my shredded pork and my taco bar. And when I'm ready, I'm going to put the lid on. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to take the lid off. I'm going to store it and I'm going to set it on the table. And then whatever leftovers we have, I'm just going to put the lid back on and put it back in my fridge. Isn't that great? And then tomorrow we can have taco bar again because I know I'm going to have some leftovers. Okay, are you ready to see our finished product? So this has gone down. As you can see, the yellow yellow knob has gone down. So it's safe for me to open. I'm going to unlock and I'm going to twist it to open. Okay, yummy, nice and steamy pork tenderloin in here. I am going to grab a plate and put a tortilla on it. I'm, all, I'm gonna be all ready. Um, using our handy tongs, you know what? I love our tongs because they come um, open or close super easy. And I'm gonna drag a hunk of this pork tenderloin out here. Okay, so here's one of our hunks of pork tenderloin. And look at this. It is just going to fall apart in shreds. I am so excited about this. You know, when you go to those fancy Mexican restaurants and they have that delicious, moist, tender pork, well, that's what this is. So I'm going to take that pork, I'm going to scoop it up, I'm going to put it on my tortilla. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. I'm going to add probably some guacamole, some sour cream if I had filled my serving center. And then I'm going to take a slotted spoon, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get some of this yummy hot salsa, and I'm going to put it right over the top of that. Look at that. Yum. I'm going to roll up my tortilla. And look at that. I have a wonderful dinner. I did this dinner I, in 30 minutes or less. And actually, it was less than that um, because it was cooking in the microwave for 30 minutes, right? So all together, cooking in the microwave about 30 minutes, and I would say give yourself about five to 10 minutes of prep time, and that's with grating your cheese. Now, if you buy pre-grated cheese and pre-done salsa, that's going to cut your um, prep time even more. Hopefully, you learned a great recipe. Today, you learned how to use some of our wonderful things, especially our microwave pressure cooker. I hope you have a wonderful evening and day. Bye-bye.